Okay, hi, hello guys. Uh, this is Mathematics and Six. Uh, today we are doing first order differential equations. This is uh, question four of your final examination. So if you check question four of your finals, you have two questions. One of the questions is the first one is the uh, differential. It's your first uh, order differential equations, and the other one is your second order differential equations and yeah so difference now your first order is the one you have only dy dx because you only use it until it differentiated to the first level the second order is you have second derivative i mean the second order yeah second derivative so if we check uh your two questions on question four you have the one for only dy dx and the other one for the second derivative so now last page of your formula sheet for maths and six you have uh your last five formulas there's one of the equations there which is this this one's i wrote here this is the equation you're going to use for the first order uh differential equation there okay now let's check quick quick so with this equation you can see this means that i your equation have to be exactly in this order you have to have dy dx multiplied by one there not any number you have to have positive p multiplying y equals to anything else which doesn't have y which is q then from there your final answer this is your solution here remember we have to solve for y we have to solve for y no we don't even okay you will see we don't but this is your solution here your y times e exponent p dx you see this p it's from here integral of q your q is from here e p dx so if you check this and this they are exactly the same so i always advise to determine this on the side always so let's do a quick example let's say i have y i mean let's say i have dy dx times one over x y equals to let's say x or x squared doesn't matter so do you see this means my p is 1 over x my q is x squared so before i come substitute here let me determine e integral p dx on the side if i say e integral of 1 over x dx what is the integral of 1 over x it's lin x now we know if I have e exponent lean, I'll only, my answer will only be x there. Now I can go substitute here. Let's substitute. I have y times x because I, I determined this whole thing is x equals to integral of q, which is x squared, times that whole thing x. Then dx. This dx I forgot to put here. But you see in the formula sheet, it's there. Yeah, it's there. You see? Then now, which means my answer will be integral of x cube. Integral of x cube will be x4 over 4 plus c. Then you are done. Just like that. You don't have to divide by x. You leave it there. That's what they wanted. That's the solution. Okay, let's get started with real question. Now, first thing, we must uh, be able to differentiate between general solution and particular solution. So your, your questions have, they specify in the question that determine the general solution of this or the particular solution of this. So if you check the last question we have, we had the last answer we had, we had yx equals to x exponent 4 over 4 plus c this c makes this general solution for particular solution that will give you a coordinate that you will substitute 
to get C. Let's say, for example, they say at 0 and 1 for argument's sake. Then which means at 0 and 1, you must substitute 0 and 1 to get C. So what does it mean? My Y is 1, my X is 0. If I substitute 0 and 1 here, I have 0. If I substitute 0, there I have 0 plus C. Do you see my C is 0? So now I must go back, substitute my C. So YX equals to X4 over 4 plus 0. This is my, this one here is called particular solution. If there is no C, it's particular solution. If you solve for C, it's general. I mean, if there is C, it's general solution. If you solve for C, it's particular solution. So the questions will be forward. Don't worry. They will give you, they will say determine general solution. If they say particular solution, they will give you a coordinate. Okay, let's do examples we have. Here's the first question. Determine the general solution, which means our solution will have C. This is 2019 July paper. Remember our form must be dy dx plus py equals to q. If you check here, this is not the same form. So which means we must take y cot the other the other side. So I have dy dx plus y. Do you see this is py? So I must start with something end with y. So I'll start with cot x y equals to tan x. This means now my p is cot. My q is tan. So remember, I said determine this on the side first before you substitute. So I have E integral of cot x dx. If you check your formula sheet, integral of cot. You see, I'm also opening my formula sheet because you don't have to memorize these things. But if you keep on practicing, you end up knowing them anyway. Okay, so I'm on the integral of uh, cot okay okay i don't see it uh, there it's lean lean sign integral of code it's lean sign x so we know e exponent lean will be left with only sign x then now we go substitute remember your your answer when you substitute it's y e p d x integral q e p dx dx so substitute there i have y e p dx is sin x i have integral of q which is tan x times sin x dx there okay but this this let me confirm the integral of of cot. It's lin sine. You know some sometimes this formula sheets. Yeah, it's lin sine. Because usually when you get to that tan, the something should cancel out. It's not that it's not this complicated. Okay? Because when you get to tan, something okay, but it's fine. We can simplify it. We know tan is sine over cos, so we can't cancel anything out, but we can write sine over cos as uh, sine squared over cos. I mean, tan. That sine from tan will make this sine squared over cos. Then we can simplify it. We know sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. Now, if I continue here, okay, but usually it's not this long unless the question was wrong from the beginning. Okay, but let, let me just continue. If I continue, remember this side I have y sine x. This side I will have 1 over cos, we know it's the same as sec, minus cos squared over cos, it's cos dx. Now you see we can differentiate. 
uh, integral of sec you check it from the formula sheet you don't have to cram integral of sec it's lin sec plus tan lin sec plus tan then we know integral of cos is positive sine plus c y sin x yeah usually guys when you get to this step you find out for example if this was cos you find out cos will cancel or cos from tan then you are left with sin it's, it's usually easier but if this is correct this is the, the the only way we can go about it yeah so this looks find the integral of cot it's lin sine let me confirm integral of cot it's lin sine of tan it's lin sec yeah okay yeah guys let's let's do another one plus c remember this is general solution so plus c you end it there now this one here remember the first thing we need only one next to dy dx so which means we must multiply everywhere by x if i multiply everywhere by x here i'll be left with this here i'll be left with one over x times y here i'll have 3x squared here i'll have x sin x i hope we can see that clearly we wanted to get rid of this we multiplied everywhere by x here we have uh, x squared will cancel x we multiply which is 1 over x here we'll have 3x squared x and x now what is p do you agree p it's negative 1 over x because the equation said positive p dy uh, equals to q so if this is negative we must take it with that negative because we need positive positive there so your p is negative 1 over x your q is x squared, 3x squared minus x sin x there. Yeah, this one will be another boring thing because, okay, but we will see. Let's go. So now, remember, determine this on the side. So we have e exponent negative 1 over x. I'm taking that negative outside. So we know negative 1 over x it's lin x the integral of 1 over x it's lin x how do i get rid of that negative it will go straight to the exponent remember your logs the exponent goes here and you can take it backward so we know e exponent lin is the same as we are left with only that x exponent minus 1 which is 1 over x now our solution will be y times this answer which is 1 over x equals to integral of q which is 3x squared minus x sin x times that answer which is 1 over x dx if you check the formula sheet it's straightforward you just substitute so this side we have 1 y over x this side what happens 1 over x and 3x squared we are left with 3x 1 over x and x sin x we are left with sin x dx now our answer is okay we are not done let me make space like this our answer is y over x integral of 3x is 3x squared integral of sine it's negative cos which makes it positive cos x plus c this question they want particular solution that's why they gave you these values so we must get c so we substitute x and y one one here 3 1 squared plus cos 1 plus c so what do we get our c will be negative 2 okay you can do it just say 1 minus 3 minus cos 1 all right negative 2,54 cos cos 1 it's 0, something 2,54 that's our c therefore your solution guys don't forget to substitute c it's y over x equals to 3x squared plus cos x minus 2,54 that's your final answer okay i think i have one more question okay i have i think there's another one after this one let's see this is uh, july 2021 
exam so this is one as long as this is one we are fine so now we can just take out our p do we agree our p will be negative one over x lin x our q will be one over x then so now first determine e p dx this is e i'm taking out negative one over x lin x by now you should know the differentiation you can see one over x times one over lin x you can see if i say lin x it's u if i say lin x it's u what is the derivative of u it's one over x so do you see this means i have uh one over u times du one over u is this one du is this one you see then now if you integrate one over du you get lin u plus c but remember your u is what it's lin x so which means my answer here will be e exponent lin lin u which is lin of lin x this one you just have to do it on the side until you get it but remember this is question four which means you have you've gone through question two which is a tough integral question so you should this one should be easy for you then now the next step is to get rid of that negative then we know e exponent lean we are only left with lean of that negative which is one over lean x so now our answer here this is particular solution it should all be long so our answer here is y times this equals to q which is one over x times our answer dx so this is y over lin x which, which is this side equals to the integral of this side your left hand side do you see it's the same it's the, it's the same as this one here so i don't want to repeat it again it's the same and we already spoke about that we said this is lin of lin x plus c so now let's get the c substitute 2 for x so i'll have uh, this side y is 0 if i substitute y 0 i have 0 then this side i have lin of lin 2 plus c so your c will be negative lin of lin 2 which is negative which is positive 0 0.366 then my final answer is what is y over lin x equals to lin of lin x plus 0 0.367 there i hope you get it but this is straight uh forward just change your question to the form of your first order differential then now try integrate if you can get this e then you'll be done okay let's do the last one very slow this one here if you check the first thing we have here is we don't have one next to dy dx so we must divide everywhere by two sin x so here i'm left with one here before i we know sin 2x is the same as two sin x cos x then remember i was dividing everywhere by two sin x this side i have two sin x over sin x remember i'm dividing everywhere by in fact you don't have this step is not necessary you can do everything in your head and just write an answer then now my dy dx minus 2 sin x cancel so it's minus cos x y because i want to start with p that side i have what i have 1 over sec this will cancel this will cancel 1 over sec is the same as cos this cos, let me write it here, is from 1 over sec. I hope we can see that. So now, tell me, do you see? My p is negative cos, because we need plus py, so it's negative cos. My q is cos. So let's derive. Uh, let's first determine e p dx, 
which is e exponent negative cos x dx which is e exponent negative sine x then we are done now our answer will be y e exponent negative sine x equals to q which is cos x e exponent negative sine x dx now how do we okay this is particular solution but how do we okay we can rewrite this as y over e positive sine x how do we integrate this one I remember if i have e exponent u times the derivative of that what is the derivative of uh sine it's positive cos you see so it's like i have e exponent u times the derivative let me do this let me do it quick quick if i have e exponent 2x times 2 dx the answer is only e exponent 2x cos because if if yeah it's only that because if i have you'll say e exponent u this x is u times this x is du and we know if i have e exponent x dx the answer is only e exponent u so it's the same thing if you take u as your sign here your, your let's say negative u your du will be negative cos x du do you see so let me erase this uh, negative cos x dx like that so if i go back substitute i'll have e exponent u because we said e u it's negative sign times cos will be du but it's negative because if you solve for for du here you divide by negative then do you see your answer is negative e exponent u that's the answer you're going to have here it will be e negative e exponent negative sin x plus c just like that then you solve for c now Yeah, remember you can post the video there and try to get it and then now you solve for c you substitute zero and one so you have one over e exponent negative zero which is one over one cos two e exponent negative zero plus c so one over one minus one this one here minus minus okay this is negative one so you'll see it's positive two because this will be one over one then you take this one that side will be positive one then your final answer will be y over e negative sin x negative e negative sin x plus two just like that but guys keep on practicing these things and you can uh, get them hopefully with time i will make more videos on this until you understand them okay um yeah thank you don't forget to email any questions or leave a comment goodbye and watch out for a video on second order derivative uh, second order differential equations